Good morning, church. I just want to welcome everybody to um, the church today. And we just want to thank God for life. We just want to thank God for food, for shelter. We just want to thank God for everything that he's done for us. We just want to give God all the glory for his faithfulness. We just want to thank God before we go on. And so, Father, we just want to thank you for your love. We just want to thank you for your act of suppressing greatness. We just want to thank you for food for shelter. We just want to thank you for God's love church. We ask that we send your angel of peace, angel of harmony, angel of grace, angel of favor around here. As we hear our Lord, help us to be doers of this word and not only hear us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today's topic is the Lord will fight for us. The Lord will fight for you and I. And the first topic or the first title for, for today is it's by the passage from Exodus 14 14. Exodus 14 14 says, The Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. Yeah. The Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. Yeah. The Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. The Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. So, are there circumstances that we find ourselves that's the Lord will fight for us? And we will hold our peace. We will hold our peace. Hallelujah. If you haven't met me before, for the online viewers, and my name is Pastor Angel Dabrit, and we're just having a service this morning. This is God's Love by Angel Church, the God's Love Church. So the topic is the Lord will fight for us. And then the part B of Exodus 14, 14 says that, the, the first part says, the Lord will fight for us. That's the 14, 14 A. And we will hold our peace is the 14, 14 B. Now the 14, 14 A says that he will do the fighting. We're going to be making a prayer. Say, oh Lord, fight for us. Fight for the church. Fight for our family. Say, fight for our finances. Say, fight for our school. Say, fight for our academics. Say, fight for our jobs. So the Lord will fight for us. And we'll hold our peace. Say, oh Lord, help us to hold our peace. Oh Lord, help us to hold our peace. In the name of Jesus, we will hold our peace. Even the online viewers and everyone here, we will hold our peace. Because the Lord is fighting our battles and we can do nothing. All we can do is to pray, have faith, and work, and the Lord will do the spiritual battles via prayers. Hallelujah. So the Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. And that's for Exodus 14 14. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And next verse says that God has given us power to trample upon snakes and scorpions. And that's in Luke 10, verse 19. Luke 10. Verse 19 says that he has given us power to trample upon snakes. Now, can you see snakes here? We don't have snakes. We don't have serpents. But there are obstacles like ill health, poverty, pain. Those are things that the snakes and scorpions can bring our way. And we can trample upon them with God's power. Hallelujah. According to Luke 10, verse 19, say, Oh Lord. We trample upon every poverty, every lack, come on, every poverty, every lack, every pain. We trample upon every decrease, every stagnation, every pain by his power. In the name of Jesus, we trample upon every serpent, every scorpion, every enemy of our lives. We trample upon it. Every enemy of our destiny, we trample upon it because the Bible says so. God's word cannot be broken, 
His word can be broken. The Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but God's word stand that sure. Say 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 God's word stand that sure. In our lives, in our destinies, the Lord will fight for our finances. The Lord will fight for everything that has to do with us, and we will hold our peace. That means we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry because he will do the fighting. And we will do the fighting via prayers. Via only prayers. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for us. And we shall take over the land. We shall take over the land for Jesus. So it's taking over the land for Jesus. Taking over our body for Jesus. Taking over the word for Jesus. By his awesome power. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you and I. And we will hold our peace. So for the online viewers, you know, the Lord will continue to fight for us. As is written here. So we've got Luke 10 verse 19. And then we've got Exodus 14, 14. And we shall hold our peace. And we will hold our peace. Because the Lord will fight for you and I. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you and I. Praise God. The Lord will fight for you and I. The Lord will fight for you and I. The Lord will fight for you and I. And we will hold our peace in Jesus' name. Amen. So it doesn't matter what you're going through. You know, sometimes we find ourselves in situations that we don't know what to do. We don't know who to help us. You know, you've got something that you need God to do for us. We don't know what to do. You don't know who to go to. You don't know who to turn to. But you have to lean on God. Who is our fighter? Hallelujah. The Lord is our fighter. Say the Lord is our fighter. And we will hold our peace. The Lord is my fighter. He fights my battles. And I'll hold my peace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I think that's just the end of the word for today. And if you want to know more about God's Love Church, if you just check out our videos, God's Love by Angela Grace. Amazing videos and songs by Angel the Great. And I hope you loved today's section. Don't forget to tune in to live videos by Angel the Great. Check out Angel the Great on all platforms. And God's love by Angel Church. But you stay blessed. And much love, guys. Thank you for watching.